off. My name is Everardo Cifuentes. I'm the Central Texas Coordinator for uh, Pathfinder Ministry. And one of the things that, that we came to assist with is uh, snow cones, as you can see behind us. Uh, you know, we just figured it's a hot day. There's a lot of kids around. We just figured it would bring a little bit of cheer and joy to people because uh, snow, the snow cone goes a long way. Uh, and that's just one thing. Another thing is that I know they're fixing some roses, as you can see in the back as well, if it's being recorded. Uh, so uh, that's going to be shared with the people around as well. So uh, just, just doing a little bit of the many things that can be done, but hopefully just to help and, and bring hope, really, to the people that live here in New Orleans. So. Sí, buenas tardes. Hemos venido a apoyar a la comunidad de Ubalde, a traer la esperanza que solamente Cristo Jesús pone en el corazón. Esta ha sido una comunidad muy afectada, la nación entera, el país entero ha estado dolida con lo que ha estado ocurriendo aquí. Y nosotros hoy queremos compartir a Jesucristo, que es la esperanza, Jesucristo que pone paz en los corazones. Así que esa es nuestra intención en este día y estamos haciéndolo con la ayuda del Señor. because um, I want to support Pastor Osorio and as the pastor of the local church here. You know, it's unfortunate that a tragedy like this is what sometimes is what brings a community together, but the good thing is that we see people coming together after such a tragedy. It shows us what's in the heart of the people. Um, everybody I've met today from people have come from the Dallas area, I've spoken to people from the Valley, uh, Houston, people have come from all over just to show their love and support. So. You know, we see evil in the world, we see tragedies like this, it's a sign of the times, it's the world we live in, and yet, thank God, we see all these good people who have come together to say we want to support this community, we care, we want to offer hope and encouragement, and that gives me hope too, and uh, it's been a blessing. I mean, we came to serve, but we've been blessed too. We've had the privilege of praying with lots of people. Some people have just noticed us here and said, hey, Uh, I think you guys must be pastors. Can you pray for this or that or various things they've asked about? So that's why we came and we're glad we've had the opportunity to touch some lives for Jesus and to just share the love of Jesus with people in the community. The Adventist community felt that it was important to come based on the request of the local pastor to share the love of God, to be the very hands and feet of Jesus Christ. On behalf of the Southwestern Union Office, Youth and Young Adult Department, we also wanted to come, uh, the entire office wanted to come so that we can see what is needed, not just now, but for the future. So I'm also observing what is taking place now, and when the people leave, what can we do in the future to still be the hands and feet of Jesus Christ? Community-wise, it's, we're going through a hard time. Like, me, honestly, I think I'm the least of people's problems. There's a lot of other people out there that really need the help, and hopefully they do accept it, but as in, like, everyone else helping out, it's, Amazing how a lot of other people are doing. There, a lot of people are reaching out to help the community, help us, and even with funeral services, with with food, with some kind of help. And I'm very, I'm very grateful for everyone. And a lot of, I know a lot of the families that that lost someone. And now, from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate everything that's going on out here. here today to support the city of Uvalde. We know they've experienced a tragic uh, event and we are here to lend our support by the Ministry of Presence. Um, we are not here to preach to anyone but certainly uh, practicing the ministry of Jesus of mingling with people and meeting their needs and the need today is the need of comfort. Estamos muy muy dolidos pero no hay forma de que podamos realmente comparar el dolor de cada uno de los pobladores de aquí, de Ubalde. Es realmente drástica la situación, 
Pero en momentos de dolor es cuando más debemos ver y tenemos que ver la iglesia dentro de la comunidad. Nuestro trabajo como iglesia, nuestra misión como pastores, no es realmente estar dentro de cuatro paredes encerrados, sino servir a nuestra comunidad, compartir a Jesús a nuestra comunidad, mostrarle a un Jesús que realmente vive en nosotros. Tenemos mucho dolor, muchas personas han venido, muchas personas han compartido, pero la realidad es que el pecado está abundando. Y para que realmente haya sanidad, tenemos que tornar nuestros ojos a Cristo Jesús. Tenemos que tornar nuestros ojos a Cristo Jesús, que es el único, el único que puede dar sanidad, puede traer consuelo y puede traer salvación y vida eterna a cada uno de nosotros. Hey, how, how's everybody doing? This is Pastor Jason North with the Southwest Region Conference, and we are here in Uvalde, uh, first and foremost, uh, just to lend our support uh, as a church and as an organization. Uh, our conference does not have a church here in the city, but we have sister churches. And we want to let everybody know in the Seventh-day Adventist Church, we band together to support one another. And we are here supporting our brothers and sisters here in Uvalde. Our hearts go out to the families for this, uh, just this terrible tragedy that has happened here uh, in this city. Uh, but here's what I want to leave you. I want to leave you with a little bit of hope. Uh, God still has a plan. It may be difficult to understand. It may be difficult uh, to, un to see what's happening. And it may be hard to accept, but God still has a plan. And I believe in my heart uh, that those young people that passed away, that God is going to use their life and their death to impact millions of lives beyond this point. And so our prayers are for each and every family that has been affected. Uh, we are raising money in the Southwest Region Conference uh, to support our local church family here in Uvalde and the families that have been affected uh, with a monetary gift. Obviously, it won't uh, heal those wounds, but hopefully it'll help the situation. But we believe that God is a healer and that God is still in control. And we in the Southwest Region Conference are praying for our brothers and sisters here in Uvalde. God bless you, God keep you, and may God's peace rest on each and every family. Thank you. I'm Dr. Carlton Bird, president for the Southwest Region Conference. I'm here in Uvalde, Texas, in front of Robb Elementary School, the site of the horrific tragedy that took the lives of innocent children. The Southwest Region Conference, along with the Texas Conference, we are here collectively as we're seeking to share light and love with victims' families and community residents here. My colleague, Dr. Elton DeMores is also here, along with representatives from the Texas Conference, Pastor Jason North, the Executive Secretary of the Southwest Region Conference, and others. We solicit your prayers, your support for the residents here, for the victims' families. I must admit, when I arrived, you could sense in the environment, sense in the atmosphere, in the space, the grief and the sadness. I don't understand why, but I trust God. He knows, he sits high and he looks low. And remember this, give all day strong. I just say thank you to God because Kayla was at school that day. And I was also at school that day in the morning for an award ceremony. And I barely left about two hours before the shooting started. So it was just God that saved us all. But it's been very painful 
and traumatic experience for the community and ourselves. And we can just keep praying that God will console the families that are affected. Yeah, um, I want to say to God be the glory because we got the kids out safely. Um, unfortunately, not everybody got out safely. I was at work and uh, I was looking at everything afar off because it was just like uh, close to me. I literally saw the first two police car response drives there and uh, I was scared because my daughter said she want to come home two hours before the incident and I said stay in school and uh, when the whole thing started we just start praying and believing in God that she will be saved and eventually I was able to pick her up I didn't know that there are this much casualty until later that evening and I just burst out crying yeah. why? why? it's a sad experience but it's also a unifying experience I've not seen this community being unified like this before so as a community I want to advise us that we should not wait until we have traumatic experience before we come together as one so when our classmates were playing games our teacher was outside and she came inside scared and she and so we all followed the teacher and she hit us because she told us that there was a bad guy in the school and that's where everything began so all the classmates were scared but i knew god can do anything for us so i so i was praying and and then they we came out quietly out because we didn't want the bad guy to hear us so police were already surrounding everywhere even the playgrounds every classman and even in the fourth grade and third grade that's where the bad guy was really at so we came out away from the school like beside the gates and we came home safely but i still miss school you know there are a lot of things we don't understand in life but i just want to tell everybody in Uvalde to stay strong like we've been saying of all this junk and to keep praying and believing in God that God understands and he will comfort everybody so let's stay strong let's stay hopeful let's stay prayerful because our God is good regardless of whatever happens in God we trust we are we belong to a faith church the seventh day Adventist church and uh, we put our trust in Jesus, in God, and uh, we know that amidst tribulation and trials and chaos, God is always there. And uh, He sees us true all the time. La verdad que fue algo bastante difícil, especialmente por eh, las familias que perdieron a un ser querido. Y en sí, toda la comunidad está como tocada por ese aspecto. Nos tocó ir a repartir agua, eh, literatura, unas mochilas para niños, para, peque, para niñas. Y en las primeras casas, ahí al, al lado de la escuela, la gente estaba como muy reacia, porque creo que hoy fue el funeral y están muy, muy sentidos. Pero algo interesante, después de una cuadra, la gente salía, eh, venía un camión del, con logos de la iglesia, el servicio comunitario, y, y la gente salía cuando vio que nos estamos regalando agua, y estamos regalando jugos, revistas, flores, materiales para niños. Y lo más interesante es que las personas tomaban el tiempo para escucharnos y sobre todo para orar. Y al terminar la oración, ver eh, las lágrimas este, en el rostro de ellos, de la comunidad, fue algo que a los jóvenes que estuvieron acompañando, la verdad que sí les impactó mucho.
Claro, bueno, es un asunto obvio lo que ha sucedido este, en este lugar, que se ha convertido casi en el centro del país y de repente y del mundo, lo que ha estado sucediendo aquí. Y obviamente venimos aquí no por eh, que nos vaya a ver la gente, sino más bien para atender a la gente. Eh, me comentaban algunos pastores, es más, aquí los tengo uno. Pastor, ya te agarré, ni modo, vente para acá. Ya te agarré. Me estaban diciendo cuando fuimos a la escuela, este, ahí la escuela sent, había un ambiente muy solemne. Y algunos pastores, eh, pastores y miembros, en lugar de este, viendo eso, fueron a la comunidad y comenzaron a compartir este, este, flores y también literatura, pero ah, también... Wow. Uh, uh, y tú tuviste la oportunidad de orar por alguien. Oré por una familia y su petición fue, oren por los niños porque tienen miedo, están en pánico. Y es muy triste eso. Lo que nosotros tenemos para ofrecer es esperanza. Dios nos dio una esperanza, la encontramos en la Biblia y nuestra responsabilidad es compartirla con otras personas. Y es la razón por la cual yo estoy aquí y por la cual como adventistas estamos aquí en este lugar el día de hoy. Aquí estamos mostrando solidaridad sentimos el dolor de la gente, de nuestros vecinos, de la comunidad y vino un grupo de gente que eh, a mostrar eh, amor por este pueblo, por esta comunidad, a mostrar solidaridad y estamos aquí para hacerles sentir que, que nos interesan, que nos duele lo que están pasando, que lamentamos mucho la pérdida de sus seres queridos y que no estamos de acuerdo con la violencia. Nosotros estamos aquí para servir y hemos visto que han recibido mucha ayuda de diferentes eh, de otras comunidades eh, religiosas, pero estamos aquí para ayudarles y queremos pedirles que no duden en contactarnos si necesitan algún tipo de ayuda eh, psicológica, espiritual, que estamos aquí para servir y estamos para ellos, de verdad, que se acerquen con toda confianza. Well, very, because it's a moment where they can share Jesus with others, share that there is light, that there is hope in the middle of darkness. And really, it was impactful to see their energy, their efforts of, you know, just hang, just giving shave ice, praying with whoever wants to pray and uh, giving flowers to the people because the whole community has been impacted. And so there were at HEV market, at Walmart, uh, parking lot, at, at the at the surrounding neighborhood of the school. It's going to be, I think it was impactful. I think it was uh, a beginning of many more things to come uh, from the efforts of our young people in Texas. Jesus is coming. The pain, the suffering will end, but also as you're struggling and facing the challenges that you're facing right now, remember, Jesus cares about you, Jesus loves you, and, and he cries with you. He feels with you. He's coming soon. And there will be no more tears, no more pain, no more death very soon. Well, we are here to bring a little hope to this community. Uh, the tragedy and all the things that they are facing here with the senseless crime. Uh, we felt like we needed to be here to bring our support, bring counseling, water, something, flowers, something that could show to this community that we care. And this is just the beginning because we feel like once everyone else leaves, we're going to have to return to continue this process. This is going to take a while. It may take forever. So we need to be here to continue to show this community that we care, that we're here for them. And so you see all the people that are here, people from all over Texas, Seventh-day Adventists is coming to show support and care to this Uvalde community. So that's why we're here today. As Seventh-day Adventists, we believe that Jesus Christ is returning and he is returning soon. We know how this story is going to end and what we see here happening in this world 
this is not the end. The end is coming where Revelation 21 says that he's coming, he's coming soon, and he will wipe away all tears. And that is the promise, that's what we believe, and that's what we'd like to share with the community here in Uvalde.